how everyone is. I think, you know, the, if you look at the history between India and Bangladesh, obviously we haven't won for a long, long period of time, and there are reasons for that, which we've spoke about. I think India have, have improved massively their domestic football, which in turn helped the national team. But again, you know, as we've shown against Qatar, we, we competed very well. If we do that again and, and we perform to them levels, then, you know, it will be close between us and India. India will have to play well to win, and no doubt, you know, they're going to do their best. So for us, it's two teams. If we play well, then we have a chance of getting a result in the game. If we don't play well, as I've said, then India are a good enough team, you know, to beat us. So, um, so we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a tough game. You know, the, um, we need to play well, and we know that. So that's, that's the aim tomorrow, and that's the aim is to try and come away with some points, whether it's one or three. I think if we can get one or three, that's a positive result for us. Next, I'm coming to Rajiv. Uh, anyone who have a question for the captain? Munalda? I said the gentleman there. Can you, I'm just coming to you. Uh, hi, Jamal. Uh, this is Rohan. My question to you is, you play as a midfielder, as a defensive yeah. midfielder. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, India have got some very good uh, medios who can really control the game. So do you think uh, control of the midfield is going to be a key factor in this match? Well, whoever wins the midfield, I think they have the better chance to win the game tomorrow. Uh, those who, that team that will be on top of the midfield, I think they, of course, because they will have the, you know, the midfield creates the chances. So I think, yeah. Whoever wins the midfield tomorrow has the better chance to win the game. Uh, Mr. Rajiv has been waiting for a long time. Hello, Jami and uh, Jamal. Uh, Hello. This is a question for both of you. Uh, that you are tomorrow, you are going to play against one of the best footballer of South Asia, Sunil Chetri. And um, I just want to know what's your take on that and how you are going to handle him. Do an answer, do you uh, let me go first. Well, I played against Chetri two times before, uh, in 2013 and in 2014. And in those two games, he scored three goals against us. So yeah, I know Chetri is a good, uh, he's a good striker. Uh, but India has also other players who can, you know, who can, who can be their leaders. But of course, Chetri is the main guy tomorrow, and we have to stop him. Yeah, I think if Chetri has got a fantastic goal-scoring record. Obviously, in Asia, he's a big name. Um, so we have to play well. We have to mark him tightly. We have to, you know, not give him space. I think, you know, if if I was at home, uh, I would want to win our home games. So the home team will have an advantage. I think that they've also played well against Qatar in their previous games. So they will have confidence. Uh, I would guess that they're probably going to attack a lot more than they did against Qatar. So for us, we need to make sure defensively that we're good and um, that we don't concede early on. That's something that's important, especially with a big crowd as well, because it, obviously if we go a goal down, then um, you've got 65,000 people cheering India on. So for us, we need to be solid. We need to stay in the game as long as we possibly can. And when we get chances, we need to take them. Um, ranking, I think it does have an... Uh, an effect, I think, if you look at the teams that hike the ranking, they're up there for a reason because they've won games against other national teams and they've progressed to get that far. So, for us, you know, we've done well recently, but we want to climb up the FIFA ranking as well because I do feel that going forward it does have an advantage, you know, in competitions. The gentleman there. Gave us a lot of confidence coming into today's game, uh, tomorrow's game. We've trained very well uh, the last couple of days. Everyone's fit. Um, so we're really looking forward to the match tomorrow. We know it's going to be a good crowd and it's going to be a fantastic experience for all the players. And hopefully we can play as well as we did in the previous game. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Jamal, uh, coming over to you. How are the players looking forward to the match? Is anything special between India and Bangladesh playing together that to in Kolkata? Uh, I think those players who are in the Indian squad and uh, those players who are in the Bangladeshi squad, they all want to play in this game because it's a big game. Because, uh, you know, we have a history with India, so 
Yeah, everybody is excited about this game tomorrow, and myself, I'm also looking forward to, to the crowd and to play against India. Thank you. Floor open for the questions. Do raise your hands. We'll be coming to you one by one. Mr. Sarkar on that side. I'll be coming to you, gentlemen. Jodha Uh Coach, my name is Dheeman. I work for the Hindustan Times newspaper. Hello, Jamal. Hello. Welcome to Calcutta. Um, the, the run-up to this game has pretty much, <coughs> uh, comments from the Bangladesh team, has pretty much been that while you've done very well against Qatar, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's also been some kind of acceptance of the fact that, you know, India have been more developed in terms of football going into this game. Now, what is it that India has at this point in time that Bangladesh do not have yet? And how are you trying to sort of change that? The national yeah. team have for India, you know, we won't have that amount of equipment, probably not the same amount of staff either. So, um, you know, that all adds up and it, it all would benefit India compared to us. But, you know, we're trying to change that. You know, we, uh, we've got one or two clubs now that have become a lot more professional than in the past. And, you know, the, the, um, what we're trying to do going forward is get our teams in the league to have academies and get these young lads being coached. And, you know, that obviously will help the national team going forward. So, yeah, it's not going to happen overnight. It's a, a long-term plan, but we have to start the process. Otherwise, we're going to stay behind everyone else and everyone else will improve. Um, adhering to the media and broadcasting rights, I'd request all journalists wearing a PRE card not to do video filming, please. The next question. Gentlemen, you have a question? The mic, please. On this side. Jimmy, I'm from Bangladesh, first person from Dhaka. Hello. The Daily Times Club. Uh, tomorrow, uh, uh, 60,000 crowd will be here. Maybe this is the first time you will play uh, this kind of uh, crowd here. It is extra pressure for your team because uh, you have to play not only against 11 players, you have to play against all crowds. Yeah, if I was a player, I'd be looking forward to playing to tomorrow's game, you know, in a packed stadium full of 70,000 people, you know, I, w I would love to be on that pitch and I can't wait to be coaching on the side of it as well. It's a fantastic experience. I, I, we've said to our players, you know, you might never get this opportunity again to play in, in such a big crowd to so make the most of it. There's no point going out being nervous or being scared of, you know, uh, the crowd. It's for us, we need to silence the crowd, so we need to play well. And, um, you know, we've stressed enough that it's a fantastic opportunity for our players to show, you know, how much they've progressed in front of a large amount of people. So, you know, we want them to be confident and enjoy it. Gentleman there? Yeah, yeah. 